Hello everybody, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about a new hunter build that I found that actually puts hunters kind of on par with, you know, uh, everything else going on right now. <coughs> Don't mind the uh, guy behind me, he's, he's, he's just sleeping. But I missed you guys, I hope you guys are having a great year. Uh, finally, I'm done with COVID, I had a long, long COVID cough. So finally that's over with, and I can finally make a video. With the current meta right now as of Lightfall, we all know that Titans and Warlocks are kind of overpowered, especially Titans with PKs. But Hunters kind of got the short end of the stick this season, but I'm here to hopefully make up for that and give the Hunters some love. When I was playing Trials this weekend, I was using an immortal SMG and a beloved sniper for about like the beginning half of it. And then I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder if I can make the game more fun because all I hear is and strike PTSD and night terrors. And with that comes my new favorite hunter build. Who the, who, who, who the hell is this guy? The build I'm referring to, of course, is a Void Hunter build. Now, I know that <clears throat> everyone's starting to figure out that Solar Hunter with Ahamkara graphs are now the meta and you throw trip mines everywhere and everything goes boom. Kaboom! Yes, Rico! Kaboom! But I think I might have found the next meta for Hunters. Now I know some people, other people have already made a video on this and I'm going to be honest, I didn't see those until after I made this video. So I'm just going to roll with it and I'm going to show you guys my build version of it. Now first things first, we're going to be rocking girl falcons with a void weapon uh, because when you go invisible, coming out of invisibility will actually give your weapons volatile rounds which works in PvP surprisingly. But you know what I found surprisingly? If you let the timer depreciate, it actually does not give you volatile rounds. So you need to you need to break invisibility. And next you're just going to pair that with a void weapon. I prefer like something a little bit higher RPM. Some people have been using void hand. Who the hell is shooting me? Anyways, I prefer sort of a void higher RPM weapon because when I use something like a hand cannon, you know, you don't really see those void volatile explosions a lot, but when you use a higher RPM weapon, you tend to see it a lot and it's easier to proc. And then when it comes to the actual build, we'll be on Void Hunter. I'm going to be using a Deadfall Super just because like the other two supers are ass. The hit reg on Spectral Blades is just the worst I've ever seen. And in terms of everything else, you're going to want to use the Marksman Dodge because this has the fastest cooldown of only 29 seconds compared to the 38 second Gambler Dodge. And then you can kind of use whatever jump you want. I think Strafe Jump is the best in PvP. Then you got your Snare Bomb. I like the Void Wall personally just because from D1, I love the Wombo combo. So, you know, it just brings me back. And your aspects are going to be the Vanishing Step and the Stylus Executioner. Where Vanishing Step, every time you dodge, you go invisible. And Stylus Executioner actually over uh, Trapper's Ambush. Because while Trapper's Ambush makes you go invisible from your Smoke Bomb, you're going to be making people volatile. So when you kill them, it'll actually give you invisibility on top of giving you True Sight. So you can just see people through walls. It's like a legal wall hack. And then in terms of the fragments, we're going to be rocking two of the new ones. These are actually really, really overpowered. And if you have yet to pick these up, please do. But the first one we're going to be using is Echo of Vigilance, which when you defeat a target while your shields are depleted, you gain an overshield, which is just ridiculous. You're also going to be using Echo of however the hell you pronounce that, where you're not even going to be paying attention to this first part where finishers final blows, create a voice of damage, blah blah blah. That's not the main part. The part is the bottom part. We're defeating volatile targets, create a void breach. And since you're going to be becoming volatile with your void weapons because of gear falcons, you're really going to want this. And then to make your void breaches overpowered, you're going to use Echo of Starvation for picking up a void breach, grants devour. And then lastly, you're really, really going to want to use Echo of Persistence 
You can really use whatever you want in this slot, but I find that having like the extra invisibility timer, the extra overshield timer, and the extra devour timer are just amazing because you're going to be getting all three of these void buffs from this build. Now the way you kind of get this build rolling is you go into a match and you dodge. You break the dodge and then you kill somebody which spawns a void leech because you made them volatile. When you pick that up, it's going to be giving you devour. And then you can kind of just run around engaging more and more gunfights because you're not really worried about your health regening. After every kill, it'll come back. It, also, if you're weak, you're going to be getting that void overshield from the fragment, which just increases your survivability, making this really stupid. Now, when it comes to the stats, I had a hard time getting the stat bumps that I wanted just because of all the negative that you're getting from the fragments so what i kind of did was i just kind of tried to get the things that i wanted in about the seven range and everything else kind of really didn't matter so i got seven mobility seven recov and seven discipline now we're going to use the mods to help us kind of boost these stats here firstly looking at my cloak we're going to use two kickstart mods and a bomber mod to help give us more dodge energy back when we dodge so it basically makes it like we have tier 9, tier 10 dodge when we actually have tier 7. And if you really wanted to, you could replace these two with a reaper mod where after you use your class ability, a kill gives you an orb. And then you could use a font of restoration where when you actually pick up that orb, you get 30 plus bonus stat to your recovery. So it'll put you at 100 recovery. So you can kind of go two ways with this build, but personally, I just found that having more dodges and getting more volatile spawns more devour, and that kind of really keeps your health topped off all the time. And then when it comes to your boots, I really didn't find much that would work really well, so I kind of just put on some holster mods. But if you really wanted to, if you were leaning into that orb setup on a kill, you could use any of these mods here, and then you could also pair it with like Void Weapon Surges and Font of Agility to get 30 plus on mobility and then be at 100. So you can kind of mix and match here, but I'm just going to go with the Holster mods. Then I've got some basic unflinching mods in my chest plate, as well as you could go with the Font of Endurance to increase Rezil when you pick up an orb if you're kind of going for that orb build. Fastball, of course. You could do Grenade Kickstarts, but since my void doesn't really have that much handling i'm gonna go with void dexterity and then i've just got some basic targeting mods up here but if you really wanted to you could go for a void siphon or you could go for font of wisdom you got a bunch of choices here and in terms of my guns i'm really gonna try and stick to the void weapons so i'm gonna be using a shire's wrath that i got recently from playing trials that just this thing just feels amazing i don't know what it is like when I use the Immortal, I feel like I'm missing a lot of my shots, but when I use something that's a little bit slower of an RPM and has a little bit more stability, I feel like I can hit like that optimal TTK a lot of the time. So I'm going to be using this Void Shire's Wrath to make those Void Breaches. Then I got a Void Heavy, just in case on the off chance that I end up getting heavy ammo and I go invisible. And then I'm going to use a special weapon. Some people can use, you could put Jade Rabbit in this spot. I heard Jade Rabbit's really good. So you could cover long and close range without any ammo restrictions. But I found that the Forerunner really complements it well, especially with the fact that I have Harmony on my Shiras. I can kind of just pick someone off with this like sidearm slash special weapon slash hand cannon slash scout rifle and switch to my Shiras and get a damage buff on top of having Volta. Whoo-wee, that was a lot, wasn't it? Well, I hope you guys enjoy the video and definitely try this build out. I definitely think this is going to be the next meta build that you're gonna see a lot of hunters using once Ahamkara gets nerfed. But if you guys enjoy the video, uh, leave a like, subscribe. I mean, I've been loving all of the support on all the videos recently. You guys have been smashing it. It's been amazing. I think when I was gone, I gained like something like 25 subscribers, which is just, Amazing. We're on our way to 100. Thank you all so much. I love all of you. Enjoy the video. Why do I always get this map when I'm recording a video? Right. Game one. Since they nerfed invisibility, 
the way I'm gonna start the loop is right when I see a ping on my radar, I'm gonna remember that, and then I'm gonna dodge. Like, I see a ping over there, but I'm trying to... See, now I see a ping there. And that spawn to Void Leech, which I pick up, I get Devour, and I rehab invisibility. Just like that. But, since I lost it, I'm just going invisible again. And then there we go, there's a... And now I have Stylus Executioner as well, so I can just see them through walls. There's another Void Leech. I mean, look at these purple, interesting looking things. He's crazy. I get that SMG's good, but it's not that good, right? Can't kill me from there, right? <laughs> we traded. I really like the Forerunner for this, because it gives me a lot of that range. I really need it. Ah, oh, he's trying to close the gap. See that- see that volatile explosion? That was nice! Well, I know he has a Void Leech on his body now. And it's still there. It lasts a long time. If I pick it up, it'll give me Devour. I cannot believe I killed that guy. You know, we'll go for heavy. Sure, why not? I have a void heavy anyway, so it fits perfectly in with the build. If you have that void machine gun from Deepstone Crypt, that would also be really, really good for this. Nice, good kill. And he spawned a Void Leech. And look at that, I got a Void Overshield from that as well. Oh shit, I'm out of him. <laughs> no! Yeah, I love- and then I can switch and get the Harmony, and get the Volatile rounds. Oh, he's Volatile, that's for sure. Good kills. He's dead. Yeah, you gotta break invis, which kinda sucks, but you know, it's still a very all-around good build. Better than the um car build in my opinion. I was having way more fun with this. And you know at the end of the day? It's what it's all about. It's all about having fun. And Shire is just an amazing gun all on its own, so I mean it's gonna feel good. Especially if you have a good Shira's roll. If not, then go suffer in the Crucible 4 1. There is a lot of people there. <laughs> I'll take a double kill. Oh my gosh, I got the other one with Volatile! That's amazing! That's the type of stuff right there that makes it really fun. That's the results of the first match. Pretty good, in my opinion. I had a game last night that was 40, a 40 kill game with a 6.0. I can post that if you guys would want me to. I don't think I was really talking in it, but if you want to see that, let me know. Pacifica again? <clears throat> That's wild. I saw a Titan PK. I'm scared. <laughs> Sorry, sir, you're a free kill. Ah, if I didn't have to reload. No, leave me alone, Titan with PKs. Oh, shoot. He was, ended up being my savior. Nice, good kill. And we get the Void Leech. No, you're also weak. Oh shoot. I need to watch 
I'm looking. What? What the hell is going on? Oh. I was so confused. Uh oh. Did that say kibosh off? <laughs> Many props to that man. I'm not gonna pick up heavy this time. Just because I'm gonna try and be a good gamer. Nice kill. And we get the void breach and we can see him through walls. Back here. You know what? We'll go around. We'll turn around for this guy. Oh my gosh, that made me so weak. Nice, we have the range for that. Pick up the Void Breach. No? Um, okay. We're just gonna have a spawn here. Nice. Whew, that was a close gunfight. I really don't- I don't want to take any chances stepping in that Wither Horde. So I'm gonna take the long wrap. <laughs> a second time! Thank you for another Void Breach, sir. Ugh, that range is disgusting. Ooh, he's almost dead over here. Nice, good kill again. We're just spawn trapping him. I feel kind of bad. Look at his name, too. Nice, and we get the harmony. Up. That was a nice nade. You know, he didn't want to go out without a bang. Oh! Get the invis off. Get the kill. Oh, poop. That was still a good match. Yeah, 3.0, 14 kills. Wasn't bad. Aw, oh, crap. I got the bug. Oh, lord. It's gonna be on the bottom of my screen the whole game. Stayed alive somehow, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, I'm in one shot. Nice teammate. No! No, yay, <laughs> good job team. Oh, he's weak. I don't know if we push, but he's going back. Nice teammate with a glade. <laughs> Nice, dude. Nice, that was a good play with the Void Breaches right there. Picking up the Devour, getting the full health. I almost have my super, thankfully. Woo! Okay, we killed the guy in mid. There. Nice, got a wood reach too, and I see him through the wall. Nice. Going up through stairs. It's kinda of 
hoping that would kill him, but he has well, so this is going to be really tough. He popped the well on it. No, it was just me? Oh my god, that was so close! Here's the final result of that sad match. Hope you enjoyed.